Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking the hardest, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins are the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings in a one feet one trying to see who wins. And UFC. Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Fulham 1, Manchester United 2, and what a way to end the club season for now. So weird to say for now, before exactly. the World Cup begins, for most of the game, it was an energetic performance from both teams. It looked dangerous on the counter-attack especially when there was turnover of possession, which is where we got our first goal through Christian Eriksen, winning the ball back, Casemiro in the midfield, Anthony Martial picks up the ball, drives forward, plays it to Bruno Fernandes on the left side of the box, and he just passes it towards the back post, where Christian Eriksen sticks out a leg and slaps it in the back of the Fulham net. That's 1-0. And after that, it looked like we were on our way to a straightforward victory but like we've seen with Manchester United many times before it wasn't really that straightforward um what I did want to say and give credit to the team for is our combinations looked really nice tonight in the midfield our midfielders combining with the wingers and and the forwards up front and as well, our defenders, you know, the likes of Sandro Martinez, Victor Lindelof, playing through the lines, we did that really nicely, especially in the first half and I would probably say in the beginning of the second. What I do want to say is that there were opportunities in the first half to extend our lead. I look at that Christian Eriksen one just before half time, where it's perfectly laid back to him by Bruno Fernandes and he just has to run onto it and get that left footed strike on target in the box. It just goes wide. There were other examples too and you started to think as the second half began to heat up, will these missed chances be costly later on? Initially in the second half I was confident in United to close out the game in style but we were quickly shown that if we were to leave Craven Cottage with all three points it was going to be a dogfight. Uh, where the United team started to slow down and look gassed, all them managed to refuel with the energy picking up all around the stadium. David De Gea pulled off some great saves from, I believe, Carlos Vinicius' shot and that Tim Ream's header, which was probably Fulham's best chance of the game, bar Dan James's equalising goal in the 61st minute. A massive setback for the Red Devils. After the goal, there were a few nervous moments for Manchester United, with Fulham showcasing the pace they had going forwards on the break, with Willian and Dan James on either side. Even at times in possession, though, they showed patience and quality to carve out crossing opportunities that luckily for us, didn't lead to a goal that would have caused the cottage to erupt. Imagine! In fact, for tonight, it was the away fans who roared in jubilation after a spectacularly composed finish from substitute Alejandro Garnacho in added time, which won the game for the Red Devils. Final game before the World Cup and we ended this one with a W. Something that leaves us fifth in the table on 26 points with a game in hand on Spurs and Newcastle who are the two teams above us. Let us know what you thought of this game overall in the comment section below. And listen, don't you worry. Just because club football is over for now doesn't mean the United Twins are going on a hiatus anytime soon. Hey, no, 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 no. During the World Cup, the United Twins at the World Cup, we will be covering Manchester United news, of course, but we're also going to be showcasing what our squad members abroad in Qatar are doing, are achieving in their pursuit for the once named Jules Rimet trophy. 
Yeah, man, know you hear that accent. I'm leveling up my game towards the end of 2022. But ladies and gentlemen, be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to CM22 EMT if you're new and share to your friends and frenemies. Who you think would like the content anyway? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your support over this first stage of the season. If you want to call it that, but until the next time, we'll see you on Sinner, bitch!